Hampden Park is ready for the 122nd Scottish Cup final. This famous football arena welcomes the teams that finished top and bottom in the Scottish Premier League this season. Celtic, the champions, confirmed in the first team ever to reach the Cup final and be relegated in the same season. Neil Lennon prepares to play in his last game for Celtic. Kenny Miller gets the nod to partner Jan Venegor of Hesseling up front, and John Joel Perrier Dumbe is preferred to Gary Cordwell at right back. Chumsky Nakamura won every Player of the Year award going in Scotland this season. Stephen Presley hopes to become the first man ever to win the cup with three different clubs. And it is Captain Neil Lennon's last game for Celtic after six and a half trophy laden years. Confirmed in without four first choice players. Stephen Glass and Tam McManus are cup tied. Gary Mason is suspended. And Jim O'Brien is on loan from Celtic, so can't figure. So they've had a few gaps to fill. And Scott Morrison plays his first game since the semi final against Hibs. 19 year old winger Adam Hamill is on loan from Liverpool. Mark Birchall faces his former club. They do have three Scottish Cup winners in their ranks. Jim McIntyre won it with Kilmarnock in 97. Scott Wilson with Rangers in 99. And in between in 98, sub Jim Hamilton triumphed with Hearts. Celtic are chasing the 14th double in their illustrious history. They've already won the league. Now for the Scottish Cup. Clear favourites to triumph today. But Dunfermline, even though they're without four first-choice players for various reasons, won't be lying down here, won't be going down without a fight. And in football, there's always those three words that mean so much. You never know. And Dunfermline have actually played their best football of the season over the past month, despite being relegated. Celtic have been very much out of form, but then they knew they had the title in the bag. They'll be OK today, they will have their eyes on yet more Scottish Cup glory. Greg Shields won that, here is Lennon, and he's immediately sandwiched. Welcome to the Cup final, Neil Lennon. Mark Birchall and Jamie McCunney were quickly upon him then. And Hartley's not getting much peace either. And Dunfermline's policy is clear from the opening minutes. They will be up and at them. They won't want to give Selding any room to play. McManus. Benagora Hesseling coming deep. Jean-Joel Perrier Dumbe preferred to Gary Caldwell at right back. Perrier Dumbe making only his fifth appearance for Celtic. Vinegar of Hesseling putting himself about, but Scott Wilson is a game competitor as well. He's committed his future to Dunfermline despite their relegation. Shinsky Nakamura, the player of the year in Scotland, will take this early corner. Stephen Presley and Stephen McManus, the centre-halves, are naturally up for it. Nakamura delivers, but Doris de Vries gets a good fist to it. Here's Adam Hamill, who's a tricky little player, on loan from Liverpool. He does like a trick or two. He skip past Lennon, he's charging to Naylor. And he's certainly eager to impress, perhaps a little too eager there. Kenny Clark will have to calm down the 19-year-old. He's been away, actually, this past week, Adam Hamill, with England's under-19s. You could put that challenge down to sheer enthusiasm, really. It's the biggest day of his young career. Lee Naylor's OK to take the free kick. Not back by Shields. Hartley running onto it.
Well, this could be interesting. Celtic caught a little short by McIntyre. And it's screwed wide by Birchall. What a chance for Dunfermline. Mark Birchall, who began his career at Celtic and was a bright young thing there. Much was expected of him after he showed significant early promise, but he was discarded by Martin O'Neill. He should have made more of that. Dunfermline might not get many chances like that in this cup final. And Stephen Kenny knows that that was an opportunity lost. McCammy. Here's Hamill. McGeady's going to help out Lee Naylor, and he might need some help because uh, Hamill is more than capable of causing problems. Ging up the Dunfermline fans. He couldn't be more up to this if he tried. Adam Hamill, and he's got a free kick. Suleiman Bamba and Scott Wilson posing a threat to Celtic. Scott Morrison's left foot is going to deliver, but it's easy for Boritz. In the Scottish Cup, the only trophy that Arthur Boritz hasn't won yet in his two years in Scotland, but he could put that right today. Benagora Hesseling, way by Bamba. This is Naylor. Kenny Miller. McGeady takes over, but has to go back to McManus, and he'll go back even further. Scott Wilson underneath that. Scott Muirhead for Scott Morrison. This is Darren Young. Bamba. Muirhead. Morrison. Stephen Presley will meet that. Nakamura now for Lennon. And Wilson fouling Vinegar of Hesseling. Celtic seeking their 34 Scottish Cup victory. Nobody else has won it more. Rangers lagging just behind with 31 wins. Presley takes it up towards Venegora Hesseling. Banda keeping him in check. Here's Hartley, who was sent off in last year's Scottish Cup final for Hearts. Naylor against Hamill, one of many intriguing tussles across the Hamden pitch today. McCunny. And again. And Bowman get the throw off McManus. Darren Young. Shields. Shields and Hamill linking up. It didn't quite work out for McIntyre though, and he's crudely brought down Aidan McGeady. Kenny Miller. Hartley. Morrison, McCunny, here's Muirhead, and Birchall having another go, Mark Birchall has had the best chance of the game so far, and he did not make the most of it, Aidan McGeady now having a run at Greg Shields, a run that quickly comes to an end. Hamill. Shields. 
Darren Young for McKinney. Bamba. Morrison. Seeking out McIntyre. Mark Birchall. Well, he was going to ground anyway. As Paul Hartley closed in on him. Not much in that. Well, they try telling Stephen Kenny. Tom Permanent certainly haven't had it easy en route to Hampden Park. They've had to overcome Rangers and the Edinburgh clubs as well, Hearts and Hips. They also beat Cardiff Thistle. Notable scarps during this cup run for Dunfermline. Hartley. Morrison given the unenviable task of keeping a check on Shinsuke Nakamura. And a good few have tried to keep him in check this season without success. Perrier Dumbe will take this throw. In towards Kenny Miller. Oh, Miller might still get a sniff, but Bamba sorts it out for Dunfermline. Perrier Dumbe. Muirhead clears it. Not bad by Lennon for Nakamura. Perrier Dumbe. Stayed down. Nakamura, now Perrier Dumbe. Lennon, Hartley, Miller. Nakamura skipped away from Morrison and from your head. Got unlucky, but he has been a delight to watch this season. Shunsky Nakamura, he won the Scottish. PFA Player of the Year award, he won the Scottish Football Riders Player of the Year award, he won the Bank of Scotland Player of the Year award. You get the message. Helped on by McIntyre. In contrast to Dunfermline, Celtic's route to the final has been a little easier. They overcame lower league Dumbarton and Livingston before winning in Inverness in the quarter-finals where they needed two injury-time goals. They then beat First Division St Johnston in the semi-final. Hamill, so lively, so far. Your head running into Presley. Scott Wilson. Hartley, Miller, Nakamura, Fenagora Hesseling, and Kenny Miller's in here. She just went away from him and De Vries quickly out. He was just checked there, Kenny Miller. Definitely onside. Had to cut across Wilson. Kenny Miller and has scored a few goals on this ground for Scotland. Stephen Presley, who lifted the Scottish Cup here a year ago when Hearts beat Gretna in a penalty shootout. Will it go that far today, I wonder? And Permanent can be pretty pleased with the way their patched up side has started. Well, he's already won the Irish Cup this season with Derry City. It would be quite something if he could add the Scottish Cup to his personal collection of silverware. Jamie McCunney. Dispossessed by Benegor and Hesseling. Aidan McGeady's on his way now. 
Nikiti wanted a free kick off Greg Shields, but Kenny Clark, the referee, not interested. And here's Adam Hamill. Stephen Romanis that, he's worked tire tigerously to make up for his error. Not normally one to dither, but McIntyre very nearly caught him out. An important toe-in from McManus, denied any advances from Mark Birchall. Virchel, who hasn't scored for over a year, would love to get one today against the club where his career began. Nagidi for Perrier Dumbe, and Bamba is going to steer it away from Benagor of Hesseling. A moment of nervousness for Dunfermline, a teasing centre from Perrier Dumbe. Shinsuke Nakamura floats in the corner. It fell uh, kindly for Dunfermline, McConey able to scoop it away. <laughs> Lee Naylor with this throw. A quarter of an hour gone in the 2007 Scottish Cup final. Celtic have already beaten Dunfermline three times in the league this season. Nobody really giving Dunfermline much of a chance today, but they won't mind that. McManus. Amber's probably going to have to deal with that, isn't he? No. He did manage to marshal it behind, despite the close attendance of Penegora Hesseling. Gordon Strachan won the Scottish Cup three years running as an Aberdeen player in the 80s. Will he win it as a manager for the first time? The Scottish Cup run in his first season in charge last season, well, it wasn't really a run. They got knocked out at the first hurdle by... Clyde in one of the great cup shocks of all time. If they put that right this season, they have reached the final. And here they are in the Hamden sunshine. Darren Young. Scott Morrison. On by Muirhead, but screened by Lennon. Nakamura now for Miller. Magidi, Wilson bumps into Aidan Magidi. Nakamura. Virtual rights to challenge from Miller. Hamill takes over. Shields, Hamill, not the best of centres, but he's looking like a good bet to create something for Dunfermline today, Adam Hamill, only 19 years of age, on loan from Liverpool. Oh, Bamba's going to get a free kick, needlessly given away, really, by Vinagora Hesselin, because uh, had he not done so, it would have been a Celtic throw. Nagora Hesselink, who scored twice in the semi-final here against St Johnston.
Presley pipping McIntyre to it. Now Nakamura. Naylor. He's had an excellent season. In from Wolves. As indeed did Kenny Miller. Lambers run it out. This could well be Saul Bamba's last game for Dunfermline. He may be on his way after relegation. Greg Shields for Jamie McCunney. Scott Muirhead chasing, but Stephen Presley will turn it back to Boris. Manus. Naylor. McGeady chasing. Greg Shields aware of his presence. The Dunfermline captain would dearly love to lift the Scottish Cup later. Neil Lennon, though, has the same idea in his farewell appearance for Celtic. Naylor, corner. He was actually nominated for the Player of the Year award in Scotland, Lee Naylor, but he was beaten to that award by the man who's going to take the corner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura having a good look. They'll get a second chance to put the pressure on. Nakamura tries again. McCunny able to clear it, not for the first time in the game. Perrier Dumbe minding the shot. Miller, hooked away from him by McIntyre, De Vries under pressure, foul on the keeper by Paul Hartley, and even though Nakamura stroked it in, Doris De Vries has got a free kick. De Vries has had an excellent season, but who's mistaken Inverness a couple of weeks ago, led to relegation. Well, Hartley certainly had his arm raised. And goalkeepers often do get the benefit of any doubt anyway. Young. Hamill. McCunning. Shields. McCunning. Virtual. In towards McIntyre and Darren Young. Well, Nakamura proved to be rather useful in defence then. Just hung in the air a little too long for Darren Young. He was never really facing the right way. points of the first half. No goals. Bamba. Bamba gets a free kick. Scott Wilson. Scott Morrison. Hitting a trio of Scots, Scott Muirhead. Offside against Birchall. Sounded going long to Venegor and Hesseling. 
With Scott Wilson having to stab it away. Perrier Dumbay's throw. You'll head up towards Birchill, who's got a bit to do. Surely a free kick, it is. And surely some punishment for Lee Naylor. Maybe he will escape. There's a definite nudge from Naylor. He has escaped. The Dunfermline fans jeering because they felt there might well have been a yellow card offered. Adam Hamill has only scored once for Dunfermline, but it was a screamer at Celtic Park in the league. He's there with Scott Morrison. It's a long way out, but it could be a key moment in the Scottish Cup final. Scott Morrison is the man, over and out, not by much. Scott Morrison has been uh, kick-starting his career this season after a terrible cruciate ligament injury which ruled him out for all of last season and for the start of this. throw. Penigor and Hesseling holding it up, he's got Nakamura nearby. Can't quite sneak a corner out of it. McManus with a good old up and under. Virtual. Neil Lennon dumped on his backside by Mark Birchall. <laughs> There's a few uh, non-Celtic fans who would have enjoyed <laughs> seeing Lennon grounded, grounded there. Stephen Presley's free kick towards Venegor and Hesseling. Miller and McGeady both chasing it, but it's scooped away by Shields. Celtic looking to stamp their mark on this cup final. McGeady for Perrier Dumbe. Nakamura. Neil Lennon. Kenny Miller, Naylor, Lennon. Presley. Kenny Gore Hessling holds it up and Hartley. Unable to latch onto it. Close. Miller. Naylor. Can he start something for Dunfermline? Well, Kenny Clark had a long think about that and then gave the free kick. He wasn't entirely sure. Thurman hoping to ask some questions of Celtic. Hamill takes the free kick. Wilson and Bamba the intended targets, but both were closely watched. And now Perrier Dumbe skips away from Muirhead. 
Bamba, though, gets stuck into him and wins it back. And Bamba's turned into a left winger here. And as you can see, he isn't a left winger. Firmly have kept four successive clean sheets in the Scottish Cup. And do well to keep a fifth today against the champions. But so far, so good. Offside against Kenny Miller. Just off. Keith saw be correct with his decision. Rick Shields. Nakamura, Miller. Hartley, he's got McGeady there with him. Now Neon kept his eye on the situation. The situation that Celtic might have made more of. Stephen Presley looking to become the first player ever to win the Scottish Cup with three different clubs, did it with Rangers and Hearts. Nakamura for Miller. And Miller has given Wilson the run around. Fedegor and Hesseling. Half an hour played. And the sort of opportunity that he normally loves. Miller did so well to provide it. And Venegora Hesseling steering his header wide. And he will be hugely disappointed with himself for not hitting the target, not at least making the goalkeeper work. Celtic's first attempt. His goal scoring ratio is superb. 18 goals in 29 games for Celtic. And he should have totted up 19 there. McConney's cross away by McManus, but only to Adam Hamill. Hamill looking to light up the final. McIntyre closely watched by Presley. Here comes Morrison, though. And Boritz will claim that unchallenged. Needed a better delivery, really, from Morrison. That's going to be a free kick for Dunfermline, is it? Advantage played. And McGeady's lunged in late on Greg Shields while he was putting himself about prior to that. Greg Shields hurt. And a yellow card has been shown to McGeady. And no wonder, that's a poor challenge. First yellow guard of the cup final, shown to Aidan McGeady. And Greg Shields, the Dunfermline skipper, in considerable agony. Stephen Kenny has been to a few cup finals in his time in Ireland. This is his sixth cup final as a manager. He's won three, lost two. The Firmly fans can be proud of the way their players have performed so far. They have created a couple of decent chances. And they've, by and large, restricted Celtic, apart from that... Venegora Hesseling header. It's the first time ever the top team has met the bottom team from the league in the Scottish Cup final. It doesn't look that way so far. Not much between them. Hamill's free kick. Scott Wilson trying to keep Dunfermline's interest going. This is Morrison. He's done all right, Scott Morrison. Birchall just dropped the wrong side of McIntyre. 
Certainly by no means having it their own way. And quite a few expected them to today, but it often doesn't happen like that in cup finals. Hamill escaping from Naylor. Perrier Dimbe presents it back to Dunfermline, to Scott Morrison. Now Scott Muirhead. No way past Nakamura and Perrier Dumbe and Muirhead holding back the man from Japan. These two teams actually met in the Scottish League Cup final here last season. Celtic won 3-0. There's some interesting results in the league last season, though. Dunfermline actually won a game at Celtic Park. But... Uh, Later in the campaign, were promptly beaten 8-1 by Celtic at East End Park. So who knows what to expect today. Relegated Dunfermline so far has certainly proved to be a real presence in this final. Virtual. Muirhead. No foul. That is a foul, though. Uh, well, Perrier Dunbe reacting furiously to Birchall. I'm not sure the free kick was given initially, but Kenny Clark wants worse now, and having already warned Mark Birchall once, he'll be doing him a favour if he doesn't show him a yellow card. Birchall has left him with no choice. It was a rather crude challenge from Birchall. He did get the ball, but he was also determined to get a fair bit of the man. Mark Birchall joins Aidan McGeady in the book. And Perrier Dumbe. Realize you can get big son in there. For his reaction. Has got a yellow card as well. Bamba underneath that, now Birchall. Lennon over the top and Hartley's chasing this. Scott Wilson in control. their first victory, which was against Celtic. Miller now helps it on, looking for Perrier Dumbe, but Greg Shields alert to the danger. McIntyre did well to win that in the air. Now Hamill for Birchall. Birchall pings one across rather aimlessly, and Aidan McGeady can go on his way, although we might just have shown through that too much of that to McCunney who brought him down. Just missed time really from McCunney, no malice in that. McCunney looked like he was going to get the ball for a moment. Nakamura. 
Lennon. Perrier Dumbe. Nakamura. Naylor. Stephen McManus, the favourite to replace this man, Neil Lennon, as captain. McManus sending it long towards Kenny Miller, who does leap well. Cleared by Morrison. Ripped on by Virgil. McManus back to Boritz. Who will turn away from McIntyre. Kick given against Menengor of Hesselink and in favour of Wilson. And these teams met three years ago in the Scottish Cup final. Dunfermline were actually in front at half time, 1 0. But Henrik Larsson scored twice in the second half to inspire Celtic to Cup glory in what was his last game for the club. Hamill. Tenacious from Naylor. Is that a handball from Venegora Hesselin? Kenny Clark had a decent view and thought not. Neil Lennon. Miller. Perrier Dumbe. It's going to clear to Brees' crossbar. Inside the last five minutes of the first half. Strachan took Southampton to the FA Cup final south of the border. They lost to Arsenal that day. And I'm to know Arsenal, that's for sure, but they are proving to be a stern test for Celtic. Nagidi. In towards Venegora Hesselink. Scott Morrison not hanging about. But Celtic might fancy something here. Goal just before half time would come in handy. Celtic finding it up on corners. Nakamura delivers. De Vries with a confident claim. Frankly, it would be hard on Dunfermline if they were to go in behind. At the break. Stephen Kenny. We'll be taking Dunfermline into Europe next season, regardless of what happens here. Celtic, of course, champions, and therefore heading for the Champions League, allowing Dunfermline to participate in the UEFA Cup. Hamill. Can he keep going? Wow. to be seeing whether uh, Adam Hamill will return to Liverpool or be found out on loan again next season. You can't really see him playing in the first division in Scotland with Dunfermline, though. Getting that as offside. Shouldn't really be caught like that, can he? They've lost three of their last four matches in the league after clinching the title. Whereas Dunfermline won four games in a row before defeated Inverness sent them down. So bizarrely, Dunfermline have been in better form overall leading up to the cup final. They've certainly given a good account of themselves here in the first half. Paul Hartley's error, giving Dunfermline a throw with a couple of minutes left in the half. McCunney for Morrison and return to Jamie McCunney.
shunted away by Terrier Dumbe, but into the sidings it went. McKinney. Leonard. Your head now for Birchall. Birchall looking for McIntyre. McManus is there, but it is going to be a Dunfermline corner in the last minute of the first half. Celtic have had a few corners, but this is Dunfermline's first. Now, this would be a time to score. 44 minutes on the clock, Adam Hamill takes it. Dunfermline could be caught a little short here. Hartley's racing onto it. He's got to wait for a bit of support. And uh, De Vries will stop that going for a Celtic corner. There was a moment of panic there for Dunfermline because they'd sent so many bodies forward for their corner. Typical of uh, the engine within Hartley that he should make the burst, but not many of his teammates were able to join in that quick. There's going to be just one minute added on in the first half of the Scottish Cup final. Lamba. McIntyre rising. Lamba. McIntyre. Darren Young. McIntyre. Can he get across him? He can. Dunfermline ending the half on a high. Morrison! Well, it had Boric scrambling. And he sent a free kick over earlier in the half. And he's had probably the last chance of this half. Never really looked like it was going to test Boric. But worth a go in injury time at the end of the first half. And that is that. And Dunfermline and Stephen Kenny will be pretty pleased with the way they've got about things in this cup final. Mark Birchall squandered an early chance. Jan Venegor and Hesselink headed wide for Celtic. But the champions, by no means getting it all their own way, not at all, in fact, against the team relegated from the SPL. Confirming will fancy their chances of an upset in this cup final. Half time at Hampden, Celtic nil, Dunfermline nil.
Southampton will probably feel they've been the better team so far. Celtic have not created much, apart from uh, Jan Venegor of Hessling's header that went horribly wide. Confirmed with not too many uh, clear sides of goal themselves, but they'll be pleased with the way it's gone. And it is Dunfermline who start the second half in the 2007 Tenant Scottish Cup final. It's the last year that uh, Tenants are sponsoring this competition. The first year they sponsored it, 1990. The Cup final went to penalties and Aberdeen beat Celtic 9-8 in a shootout. Will it go the distance today, I wonder? As it did last year when Stephen Presley's Hearts beat Gretna on penalties. Confirmly looking for a break early in the second half. Came towards Jim McIntyre. Presley, a Scottish Cup winner with Rangers and with Hearts. Maybe with Celtic, Jim McIntyre won the Cup ten years ago with Kilmarnock. Celtic have already started building for next season, signing Scott Brown from Hibs and Scott McDonald from Motherwell. We've been two of the best players in the SPL this season. Firmly won't be in the SPL, relegated to the first division, but looking to end their season with the ultimate high of winning the Scottish Cup. And here's McIntyre looking to make it happen. Well, he's hobbling. For a moment there, it looked like he might just get a better glimpse there. Partly recovered. And the verdict went in favour of Dunfermline. It's Adam Hamill's corner. Borrett's got a punch to it. Darren Young trying to batter it back. Diverted away for another corner. Boris did well to get to it. And Young was closed down. Scott Morrison. Dreadful corner into the side netting. Embarrassing for Scott Morrison. Stephen Kenny took over in November when Jim Leishman returned to a director of football role. He's got something about him, the former manager of Derry City. He's taken a few clubs into Europe and will be going there again with Dunfermline next season, even though they'll be playing first division football. Nakamura has won it off Morrison, who really should have stuck that one into touch. Nakamura. Morrison recovers the situation with a bit of help from McCulley. McIntyre. Virtual now for Hamill. Muirhead. Virtual. It's a poor return from Mark Virtual. Neil Lennon. McGeady. Fenegor of Hesseling. Mela. McGeady. McGeady trying to put Mela in. Mela caught Hamill. And that will be a free kick for the defendant. Had a busy week playing for England at under 19 level and then rejoining the Dunfermline squad for the Scottish Cup final. <laughs> the 
Nakamura for Presley. Straight down the middle by Moritz, Nagini. Has to fend off Hamill. Now Kenny Miller. No way past Saul Bamba. And a quick throw goes towards Venegora Hesseling. And Greg Shields pokes it away. And now Muehead. Darren Young. Hartley. Penagora Hesseling looting with intent and holding off Bamba. Waiting for support. Aidan McGeady. McGeady looking to provide that spark for Celtic. And Kenny Miller's header is well saved by Doris de Vries. Miller seems to have hurt himself in flinging himself at this. Celtic thought their moment had come. Nagidi for Miller. Straight at De Vries, really. It was a, a comfortable save, as it turned out, for the Dutch keeper. Well, Venegor of Hesseling and Miller have both had great chances with their heads. But they failed to use their heads. Saw one for Kenny Miller. It's been a lively contest, not too much on target so far. And no goals. But it's still quite a watchable final. Vries launching it to McIntyre. Away by McManus. Now McGeady. And also that a bit by Darren Young, who did well. Greg Shields for Hamill. Hartley for Lennon. Perrier Dumbe, the Cameroon international who arrived in January from Rennes, but couldn't really force his way into the side until Celtic have clinched the title. Mark Wilson, who normally plays there, has missed the second half of the season through injury. Kenny Miller still not looking too comfortable. Shake of the head. Doesn't look good for Miller, who uh, is due to link up with the Scotland squad. They play Austria in a friendly next week and then go to the Faroes for a qualifier. Craig Beatty is being readied on the Celtic touchline, so it looks like Kenny Miller's game might be over. Virtual now trying to sneak in. Boritz out to deal with the threat. Miller, who is pretty much a passenger out there at the moment. McGeady. One back by Birchall. Young. Nakamura intervenes. Lennon, Presley, Perrier Dumbay outside of him, Presley for Nakamura, Lennon, Presley, Nakamura, McManus for Naylor, Hartley, Manus again. 
Then Nagora Hesselink. Terrier Dumbe. Nakamura. Banda clears it. Now Hamill. Well, they certainly have the legs on Neil Lennon, that's for sure. Hamill. It's going to be a yellow card for Stephen Presley, you suspect. He knew exactly what he was up to there. But it might have been a card worth taking because Celtic could have been in bother if Hamill had got away here. He was always getting away from Neil Lennon. Presley joins McGeady, Perrier, Dumbe and Virgil in the book as Kenny Miller leaves the field ten minutes into the second half. Miller injured and his place is taken by Craig Beattie who is appearing in the Scottish Cup final for the first time. He'll probably feel his time has come. He was an unused sub in 2004 and 2005, but he's got on today. Onto the ground where he scored a winner for Scotland against Georgia in March. Hamill floats it in. Oh, and Bamba coming round the back. That was close. time has been very closely watched there by Dan and Dora Hesselin. Celtic chasing their third league and cup double in seven seasons. win here will give Gordon Strachan a clean sweep of Scottish trophies as a manager on the League Cup and the title last season will it be the title of the Scottish Cup this season confirming would like to think not and with every reason to be encouraged by their performance Nakamura cheekily trying to claim a Celtic throw not so. <laughs> this would be a remarkable achievement for Stephen Kenny were he to lead Dunfermline into the Scottish Cup in the same season that he led Derry City not only to the Irish Cup but the Irish League Cup as well. Now that would be some hat trick. Be against the odds, but that's happened before a few times in football. McIntyre bustling away, but it's a goal kick. If the scores are level at the end of 90 minutes, we would have 30 minutes of extra time, and if they're still level, then. The drama of penalties to decide who wins the Scottish Cup. It's a foul by Nakamura. Scott Muirhead on the receiving end. goes on the first goal becomes more and more vital Scott Morrison floats it in towards Bamba Presley steering that away Virtual and Celtic finally escape and there might be a bit more than that BT on for the injured Miller Free kick conceded by Nakamura. The foul on Bamba. Big Beatty took out a couple in his way. 
but the free kick was conceded by Nakamura. An hour played at Hampden Park in the 2007 Scottish Cup final. Confirming playing in only their fifth final, and four of them have been against Celtic. But they're not sick of the sight of them yet. Bamba has been a commanding figure today. Virtual now for Hamill. Hamill into McIntyre. And Young! And it had the sting taken out of it, and Mark Burchill had made a cheeky little run into the box. But Young decided to have a pop himself. Scott Wilson knocking that back. Bamba's underneath it, but here's Nakamura. Neil Lennon. Perrier Dumbe. Lennon and Burchard on a collision course. But Lennon never gives anything up. He seems to fancy that more than Burchard. Lee Naylor. Venegora Hesselink. Naylor wants it back. He's got it back. And it's straight at De Vries. Well, he hasn't scored for Celtic yet. Talk about picking your moment if it came on Cup final day. And if it came with his right foot as well. Gary Caldwell is going to come on for Celtic soon. They've already used one of their subs, Craig Beatty, taking the place of the injured Kenny Miller. I expect the third one to be used at some stage will be Derek Ryden. Ian Naylor, well, he would have got good odds on him being the uh, first goal scorer today, but he couldn't quite manage it. Denigora Hesselin holds it up well again. Perrier Dumbe. Nakamura. Lennon. Now Hamill. Wicket. It's uh, not a free kick, but Hamill's going to get one now. And Clark has kept a firm grip on this game. One of the most experienced referees in Scotland. In charge of his third final. Boris will claim that. Naylor. Move towards BT. See the man Bamba. Hasn't missed much today. Naylor's throw, short to McGeady. And Naylor's killed his cross out. Bam has been excellent at the heart of the Dunfermline defence. A defence that was leaking goals left, right and centre for uh, the first half of the season in particular, but Stephen Kenny soon got that organised. They haven't conceded a Scottish Cup goal in four games. And they still haven't. Now they're in the final. <laughs> McIntyre will chase this, but so too Presley. And McIntyre was, in fact, offside. Kenny enjoyed considerable success with a few Irish clubs, most recently Derry City. And 
by Obiti. And away by Bamba. Perrier Dumbe's throw. Oh, it might fall favourably for Celtic. Beatty in the mix, nearly benefiting from this bit of confusion. Bamba there again to hook it away for a corner. It's Nakamura's corner. McManus trying to get a piece of the action. No joy for Stephen McManus. Now, Gary Corbell is going to come on. Uh, Neil Lennon's Celtic career is over with 25 minutes left of the Cup final. Lennon, who may well get to lift the Cup at the end of the day, brings the curtain down on six and a half years at Celtic as he's replaced by Gary Caldwell. And that's a bold decision. And Neil Lennon is away up the tunnel. Not the way he would have wanted his Celtic career to end. And Lennon is not hanging around, he's sitting in the dugout with Gordon Strachan. He would have wanted to stick around out there and do his bit. And that's a controversial move from the manager. Nakamura. Magidi. Naylor. Hartley. Magidi, can he get his shot away? No, he can't. Darren Young. Slid in. Boris. To be careful, and Scott Muirhead putting Perrier Dumbe under pressure. <laughs> Celtic have only got one change left to make. Derek Ryden likely to come on at some stage, ahead of the young Icelander. Teddy Bjarnason. Maria Dumbe. Oh, that's a decent ball. Although Scott Wilson's quickly across. It will stop Beatty reaching it. McIntyre. Muirhead. He's had a look across. And Birchall's waiting in there, but Boris kept a hold of it. And it stays nil-nil. Nakamura has been unable to impose himself, as he has done in so many games in Scotland this season. Naylor. Beatty. Bamba made the challenge. Beatty wanted a free kick. Hamill. Hartley crashes in. Perrier Dumbe. Caldwell asking too much of uh, Perrier Dumbe to get to that. But Scott Morrison's clearance won't go too far. Caldwell. Hartley. McGeady. McGeady trying to thread it through to BT, but Sol Bamba meeting everything that's coming his way. Here he is again. 
Bamba, not the worst of uh, balls for Birchall. Forcing that managed to steer it away. Hamill. Careless that time from the uh, Liverpool Loney. Nakamura. Perrier Dumbe advancing, he's certainly got some legs on him. Racing down that right, Perrier Dumbe's cross towards Venegora Hesseling, but Bamba marshalled him yet again. Probably a contender for man of the match, Suleiman Bamba. He has been colossal. Twenty minutes to go of the 90. Nil-nil in the 2007 Scottish Cup final. Hamden Park awaits a goal, but who's going to get it? Bamba there yet again. He's managed better clearances than that, mind you. Stevie Crawford is going to be on soon for Dunfermline. Forrest has got to be careful. Oh, he got so lucky then with Birchall, he's fouled him now, but it was very nearly an epic clanger from Boritz. Now that is getting lucky. Stevie Crawford. He's about to play in his third final in four years. Scott Morrison is going off. Crawford lost with Dunfermline to Celtic in 2004 and lost with Dundee United to Celtic a year later. I suspect that will see Scott Muirhead return to left-back. Virtual may well veer towards the uh, left side. With Muirhead dropping back, here's Shields. Caldwell. A gift for Doris de Vries. Darren Young. Nakamura, Caldwell, Magidi, into the path of Naylor. Aidan Magidi. A sense of disappointment and frustration. Just under 50,000 inside Hampton today. Sitting in the sun, waiting for a goal. If it's level at the end of 90 minutes, we'll have 30 minutes of extra time. And then we could even have a penalty shootout. Young, Crawford. Could be inviting. It's a foul by McIntyre, a push on Presley. But Dunfermline still giving their all. Stevie Crawford has taken up a position on the right, and Adam Hamill has gone over to the left. So McIntyre and Birchall staying up front. Stephen Kenny, by no means cautious in his approach to this cup final. He figured the best way to get a result against Celtic was have a go at them. And uh, it's surprising, really, that more teams haven't done that this season. Celtic have had their weaknesses at times. 
throughout the league campaign, even though they ended up champions by some distance. McIntyre flung himself at that, here's Birchall. Hamill now on the left. Celtic's throw. 15 minutes left of the 90, nil, nil. Hartley. Lost it to Crawford, and now McIntyre. Here's Hamill. Just so Crawford a bit short. Nagini trying to get past Shields. Think again. Clearance. Cannoned off Caldwell. Nakamura now. Perrier Dumbe going round the outside. Nakamura up against Hamill. He's got past him. Chomsky Nakamura's cross. And it's just sneaked away by guess who? Yep, it had to be him. The magnificent Bamba. And he needed to do something here because Venegor of Hesseling was ready and waiting. Naylor's throw. Darren Young can clear it. Crawford for McIntyre. And there's the return. Crawford stopped in his tracks by Hartley. Called well. Oh, this could be BT's ball. He's kept it in. Now Nakamura, is this the moment for Celtic? No. Nope. There's still no way through. But sustained pressure from Celtic. Nakamura. Goes for goal, but De Vries not bothered by that. Jinsky Nakamura has scored 11 goals this season. Return to the uh, to watch out the game, having stormed off down the tunnel when he was substituted in his last game for Celtic. Lennon less than impressed that his Celtic career should end like that. He wasn't injured. Lennon replaced by Gary Corbett. Gordon Strachan showing everyone his boss as he likes to do now and again. Presley. Beating. Beating's found Benegora Hesseling, and now Nakamura. Scott Wilson won that. Celtic though, with Caldwell, and he's lost out. Well, this could be interesting. Good touch from McIntyre. And now Birchall ready to have a run at Celtic. Hamill. Hamill perhaps tiring a bit. Nakamura. For BT. Oh, Beatty's got pass. Wilson, Craig Beatty. What a miss! The headlines were about to be written there for Craig Beatty, and it looked for all the world like it was going in the corner of the net, but it just shaved past the post. 
Gordon Strachan can't believe that. Has done firmly make a change. Tim McIntyre's put in a very good shift today. One old trooper replaced by another. Jim Hamilton, who won the Scottish Cup with Hearts in 1998 when he came on as a late sub against Rangers. Stephen Kenny has thrown him on as a late sub against Celtic, and Hamilton is the sort of centre forward who likes to put himself about. Old style. Ten minutes of the 90 left. Fouled by Stephen Presley. Dunfermline have been terrific today. Whatever happens to them now, they can hold their heads up high. But they will still feel they can win this final. Hamill. Who can he pick out? Dunfermline have a throw. And Jamie McCunney will take it. McCunney nearly gives it to Boritz. Not quite what Dunfermline had in mind. Unable to set up McGeady. There'll be some weary legs out there now, which could lead to a mistake. And they had just about get that in. Here's Shinsky Nakamura. Perrier Dumbe. The Vries should claim that. And then Bamba was going to put him off. Goalkeepers are happy so far. It's still nil-nil in the Scottish Cup final. It's a rather reckless challenge by Stephen McManus on Jim Hamilton. And those two boys don't stay down unless they're hurt. Hamilton clattered by McManus, who fell awkwardly. Luckily shoved Hamilton out of the way, but two big boys. Get up and get on with it. Extra time is looming in the Scottish Cup final unless somebody plans to be a hero. Hamill floats it in. Goal kick. trying to stay focused and concentrated. Easier said than done as the seconds tick away. And goal now would surely clinch the Scottish Cup. Nakamura. It's Perrier Dumbe looking to make it happen. And now Beatty. Oh, oh, it's gone in! Celtic have the lead in the 2007 Scottish Cup final. It's cruel on Dunfermline, but football can be that way. It will hardly go down as a classic goal. Perrier Dumbe got himself in there and did get the final touch. Better late than never. And John Joel Perrier Dumbe.
in only his fifth game for Celtic may well have won the Scottish Cup for Gordon Strachan. Well, not many would have had him down for first goal scorer, his first goal for Celtic. And it comes with five minutes left. It's harsh on Dunfermline. Perrier Dumbay referred to Gary Corbin at right back by Gordon Strachan. More so, so that he could keep an eye on Dunfermline's wingers. Stephen Kenny will feel absolutely distraught and dejected because his Dunfermline team have given it their all and more today. And they probably don't deserve this. But Perrier Dumbay may well be the match winner. And may well have secured a contract at Celtic. Signed on a six-month deal from Wren in January. He had to wait and wait, whilst Celtic waited and waited to clinch the title. Only got a game in the last few matches. Benegor and Hesselinger split that on. Crawford. Up towards Hamilton. Celtic have specialised in late goals this season in league and cup. Hang on, though, here's Hamilton. Trying to return it to Burchill. Jamie McCunney with a long throw. Hamilton sandwich, but here's Hamill. Hamill. That's a tie, boy. Got uh, one change left to make them Vermin. It might be Hamill. Well, Perrier Dumbe flicked it outside to Craig Beatty, went for the return and just got there. It's the goal that may well win the Scottish Cup for Celtic. And it's an unlikely goal scorer, Jean Joël Perrier Dumbe. A few weeks ago, he probably didn't think he would be playing in the cup final. Not only is he playing in it, he may have proved to be Celtic's match winner. And Firmin will feel they deserve to take it to extra time. McCunny. It's going to clear Boris's bar. He might have tried something else there, Jamie McCunny. Unlikely to beat Boric like that. And Celtic are closing in on their 34th Scottish Cup. Two minutes of the 90 to go. Free kick for Celtic. Actually, Mark Birchall is going off, <laughs> even though Hamill looks like he's on his last legs. Ian Williamson is coming on. It's only his fifth appearance for the permanent, all as a sub. <laughs> Celtic looking to clinch it. And the second goal now would certainly do it. Caldwell for Hartley. Mela. McGeady. We're in the last minute of the 19. We hear there are going to be three minutes of stoppage time. So four minutes in all for Dunfermline to save themselves. But they're starting to look a beaten side, even though Bamba's been magnificent today. He's been pushed aside there. Offside, Venegor of Hessen. Not much doubt about that. Celtic. 
on the brink of another double. It would be the 14th in their history. The club formed in 1888. Won its 88th major honour when they clinched the SPL title this season. But they're about to move on to 89 trophies. Hartley for Naylor. And we're into three minutes of added on time. Conflonen have given this game so much. But here's Venegor of Hesseling beating, waiting for a cross. Venegor of Hesseling taking his time. Nakamura. to keep the ball like this, they'll have the Scottish Cup in their grasp very soon. But boy, they've had to work for it today. Tom Vermin, to a man, stood up and were counted. But Celtic are going to lift the cup, it seems. Suleiman Bamber in particular will feel hard done by to be on the losing side at Hampden today. He has typified Dunfermline's spirit. But it looks like Gordon Strachan, who won the Scottish Cup three seasons in a row with Aberdeen as a player, is going to win it as a manager, and that will erase the memory of that horrible defeat to Clyde last season. It will also give him a clean sweep of Scottish honours as a manager. Two titles, one League Cup and one Scottish Cup in two seasons, not too bad to say the least. Mind you, there's still some Celtic fans who can't seem to accept it. Nakamura. Celtic are seeing out, stop his time. In a very professional manner. Tom Fernley looked tired and weary. Football can be so cruel. They've played above themselves today. But so many times this season, Celtic have left it late to score vital goals. You think back to the quarter-finals at Inverness when they were heading out of the competition until they struck twice in the last couple of minutes to go through. It's been a bit like that in the SPL at times as well this season. Better late than never is certainly their favourite saying. Celtic are a few seconds away from winning the Scottish Cup. Jean Joël Perrier Dumbay with a throw. And Caldwell blocked on route. It's over. Celtic have won the Scottish Cup. It's a double for Gordon Strachan. And it's an unlikely hero as their goal scorer, Jean Joel Perrier Dumbe, playing in only his fifth game for Celtic, struck late on against a Dunfermline side who gave their all and a bit more and might consider themselves a bit unfortunate. Neil Lennon, in his last game for Celtic, was substituted midway through the second half. He didn't like that, but he's won the Scottish Cup for the fifth time and he will go up and lift the trophy thanks to that man. Cameroon International, Jean Joel Perrier Dumbe. Neil Lennon's parting gift to Celtic is the Scottish Cup. Make theirs a double. SPL champions, Scottish Cup winners, Celtic. Scottish Cup 34 times, that is a record, Rangers are three behind with 31 successes. He's made it, 
Neil Lennon is there. And this is the fifth time he has won. Scottish Cup. Fourth time Robbie's won the Scottish Cup, his fifth final. Did lose one to Rangers, but four wins out of five is a pretty good ratio.